Truck driving is an incredibly important role in our society. With drivers delivering the essential fuels and goods we depend on every day. Drivers are a hot commodity. That's why we put so much effort into attracting and retaining them with our winning and safety first culture. Which is why it means so much when Trucking HR Canada awarded Parkland with the Achievement of Excellence Award for Workplace Culture. This is a testament to our commitment to retain top talent, to take the needs of our employees seriously, support and promote a healthy work environment, and be the best operator for our customers. Well done, team. The annual celebration of car culture was bigger than ever at Las Vegas this week. David Fairbanks and the Ridgeline team were at SEMA, where they were connecting with car enthusiasts. To win in a tight market, you have to show that innovation is woven into the fabric of your business. That's why at SEMA, the world's largest automotive show, Ridgeline's rolling out something new that delivers for our customers. The first is our new Hyzinc motor oil for classic cars, cornering the vintage automobile market. Second is our new Vintage Car Club, providing a space for fans to share their experience and stories. These two things have had everybody at the show asking for Ridgeline. November is the month where we honour our veterans. Something that's very important to our President and CEO, Bob Espy, who began his career in the military. Remembrance Day is a very special day for me personally. It's an opportunity to reflect on the sacrifices that many people have made over the years to make sure that we are able to preserve the lifestyles that we have, the freedoms that we have, and, and the society that we've built in, in our countries across all the areas where Parkland operates. This week, we supported the Vancouver Indigenous Veterans Day ceremony, as it's important to recognize Indigenous veterans separately for their service at home and on the front lines. Despite their service, they were often denied benefits, discriminated against, and faced repeated injustices. Well, that's all for this week. Until next time, don't forget to follow us on social to keep up with Parkland.